very rare that I go on a rant, but there's been something that has been driving me absolutely crazy, and that's the use of the word hype and hype beast. Last night, you may or may not know, Drake signed over to Jordan Brand, and all everyone could talk about is this is all about hype. This is creating all hype. How hard will Drake sneakers be able to get? And it just bothered me to no end. And it comes about with the way people use the word hype, because it's not about hype. It's a business decision. People want Jordan Brand to have more traction, and with Kanye leaving Nike, it kind of, you know, the story writes itself, so to speak. And it makes perfect sense that Jordan Brand then captures the next best thing, which arguably you could say Drake is even better than Kanye. But the fact people were saying is it all hype just kind of made me realize how this word's just being misused and misapplied. So hype is perfectly natural. There's always going to be hype around anticipated releases. And typically the word hype beasting would just mean getting all excited about this hype. And if you've never hype beasted over a sneaker, then I can't really identify with that very much because there are sneakers that I get very excited about and giving into the hype on a sneaker that you really, really enjoy, there's nothing wrong with that. But instead, a lot of people in the community have turned hype into a bad thing. Something you should be scolded for, something you should be ashamed of. How can you like that hyped up release? Well, hey guys, it's hyped up for a reason, okay? The sneakers that are the most desirable tend to have the most hype surrounding them. If anyone wants to count how many times I say hype in this video, go ahead, by the way. But the main thing is you need to remove yourself from that word and the stereotypes and the connotation of that within the context of the sneaker world and just really get back to your own opinions because so much of the hype generated by blogs and whatnot uh, tends to direct people one way or the other. And I think more than anything, that's when you become what people like to say as a hype beast. Because I think the term is being misapplied and it more would apply to people who tend to just follow whatever they're told. So if they're told something is popular, they then change their mindset. Because you know, another thing that was bothering me along the same lines was people were asking my opinion as to whether or not they should purchase something or purchase a sneaker. And, and what I think is cool or, or what I think is popular is my own conception. You guys sitting and watching this video define what is cool for yourself. No one else defines what's cool to you. And that's why it's such a great thing, such a great country that we live in to get a little bit patriotic. But it's true, anyone's entitled to their own opinions and they should be your own opinions. Remove yourself from the hype and make your own decisions. You apply the hype to the sneaker yourself and it's perfectly all right if you go ahead and you hype beast over a sneaker because I think to a certain extent anyone that's been collecting sneakers or anyone that's a fan of sneakers has hype beasted over something. So this is like a rant. It just was bothering me today. I know there's a lot of cool news floating around, flying around, and Drake signing to Jordan Brand definitely was something that created a lot of buzz and just made me realize how misapplied this word has been used. So way down below in the comments, let me know what you guys are thinking. Stay tuned. We're going to end with a feature comment from yesterday's video. And the feature comment goes to Axel Lopez and very quickly, so Concept uses the same exact interface as uh, Kith, so it both uses Shopify, and the checkout process is exactly the same. So that video on how to check out quickly will apply to Concepts as well.